Guys, really exciting stuff today. Halo Infinite gameplay finally after what seems like forever, and they were just not showing gameplay. They're finally showing it. I'm not going to lie, I was worried about it, but it actually turned out all right. So let's get right into it. At the very beginning, it harkens back to old Bungie. I mean, if you watch the old vid docs from Bungie, they said Master Chief was like a husk or a vessel for the player, you know, rather than a character to himself. Well, 343 made this beginning cinematic right before the gameplay where Master Chief's armor is literally empty. And I think that was just a very clever nod to say... Hey guys, we hear your criticisms and we're listening to you and we're going back to what made Halo great. We're going back to the classic Bungie. So I think that was pretty clever and I really enjoyed that. So it starts off Master Chief and the Marine that we saw in the reveal trailer for Halo Infinite. They crash land on this Halo ring, which is yet another nod to classic Halo. It's exactly what happens in the second mission of Combat Evolved. So once again, 343 saying, we hear you guys and we know what you want. I'm really glad that they're listening to criticisms, and I think that this really speaks to what they're going for with Infinite. I, I think it just it's just a call back to what made Halo great, classic Halo. So the beginning cutscene, it goes right from the cinematic camera right into gameplay seamlessly, so that's great to see. You know, it, it increases immersion. Good stuff. With that being said, I'm not really sure how I feel about the graphics. Honestly, I, I don't know what I was expecting exactly but it is passable i mean at this point i'm sure there's all i'm saying is at this point i'm sure there's going to be games at launch that look better than infinite i'm that's that's just what i feel so all right this is going to be tiresome if i keep saying this but uh another nod to classic bungie we see these little critters running around and birds flying on this halo ring and i know a lot of people wanted to see like indigenous species just chilling on this ring and we get that I mean, Bungie was going to have, like, freaking dinosaurs or some shit in Combat Evolved. So, it's it's good to see that 343 is giving us species native to this ring. So, we get into some gunplay here. We round the corner and we immediately see that 343 listened yet again and kept the classic design of the grunts. Then Chief jumps into Warhog here and it brings me to my only gripe, really. It's probably just me, but I'm not a fan of the sound. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what 343 did with their sounds, but, like, they're too clean or, like clicky and like there's no oomph behind them i i don't i really don't know how to explain it but the warhog honestly sounds like it could be like a quad or something that's all i'm saying this so is one of the most exciting parts of this gameplay trailer is the tack map that gets pulled up and i'll say this it's pretty much confirmed that halo infinite will be open world i mean that's quite a change in the direction from what normal halo is and we'll see how it pays off but i think that keeping the environments varied i think that if they do that then they'll be able to make this pay off now continuing on Something really interesting that I saw here was upgrades. There's a tab for upgrades. So does this refer to like weapon upgrades or armor upgrades or maybe like shield or your grapple? Where will you upgrade these things? I mean, there's a lot of questions that are not answered here. Then there's another tab for database, which is interesting to me. I mean, maybe you'll be able to check the database to see information on weapons or enemies or allies or like areas on the ring that you visited or like forerunner structures or maybe some flora or fauna throughout the halo ring I, I really don't know i love like lore heavy stuff like this that they include in games and you know with halo being the huge like lore juggernaut that it is i think it's going to be really helpful to have something like this and one thing that jumped out at me was the fact that you could press y to look at your missions uh this again confirms that this will be open world i'm sure a lot of people knew that but Maybe you'll have side missions or main missions that you'll be going on. And what we do know is that you could set waypoints as well. In this demo, you're trying to take out these three air cannons that shoot you down in the beginning. And you can attack them in any order as you wish. We finally get to see some elite combat here too. And again, they've gone back to the classic art style. They don't look like big bulking like gorillas or whatever the hell they were in Halo 5. I, I honestly can't even remember. All I know is that they look like shit. That's, <laughs> that's all I remember. I played through Halo 5 once and I, I love Halo so much. It just really goes to show you that they weren't listening when they made Halo 5. I, okay, I could go on and on about Halo 5. Everyone knows that Halo 5 sucks. The campaign is terrible. And the Brutes are back too. We see them drop down in these pods and they just charge at you. And one of the things I noticed is that there's location damage in this so when the chief shoots at the legs of one of these brutes the brute actually trips when it's running down at you so that's a nice little touch of detail and then hot damn equipment is back just like halo 3 i loved equipment so i'm glad this stuff is back he tosses out the shield and it looks like solid projectiles could go through but plasma can't that'll be pretty interesting to see being used i wonder what other kind of equipment they have so then we see the first grapple hook use, which I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, so yeah, Chief has a grapple hook, and he uses it to grapple onto this brute and 
close the distance between them and just punch the shit out of them. I think it's really cool, but I, I, I don't know how I feel about a grapple hook in my Halo game. I mean, I'm sure it'll be interesting and you see a few uses for it uh, later. So there's this new weapon that the Chief picks up off of one of the dead brutes. It's called the Ravager. So it's always exciting to see new weapons like that. It's a hell of a beast. It just launches these plasma bursts and just it, it just tears through enemies. Something to note when you pick up these weapons, it gives you the type of weapon, the type of ammo it shoots, and the fire rate, which is very interesting. This is new to Halo games. I mean, maybe some certain guns will be able to be customized, so that really warrants the fact that you could see like the type of fire rate, or maybe it's modded to t shoot some different kind of ammo. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Cool that they added that info in, though. So then we go to this elevator, and it brings you up, and you get, like, a view of this entire vista looking out the ring, which looks absolutely massive. I'm not sure how I feel about this, like, Minecraft-inspired-looking mountainside here. I know it's in canon as, like, Forerunner architecture. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a clever way to hide the fact that this new Xbox can't process, you know, natural-looking, detailed environments of this size. I, that's just a joke. I'm not saying that that's actually true. But that's kind of what it looks like. I, I hope that's not the case, though. I'm, I'm sure it's not. So we also see a Mauler get picked up here later on in the demo. And thank God the Mauler's back. That's really great to see. Another use of the grapple hook as well really goes to show you that you'll be able to move around this environment pretty effectively with this grapple hook. I, I think that's pretty exciting. Like, the more I watch this, the more I'm kind of into the fact of the grapple hook. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of creative things that you could do with it. A lot of hidden locations. So that'll be neat to see. So at the end, before you go up this grav lift uh, to deactivate the gun, we see the chief pick up the shotgun called the Bulldog with a big ass drum magazine, and it just it just tears through enemies. And then the gameplay trailer ends. You go up to deactivate the anti aircraft cannon, and this brute comes up, and he just shit talks you for a lot. <laughs> So yeah, it ends there. It was a short but sweet thing, and I'm pretty damn excited about Infinite. I'm not going to lie. I was honestly worried, but this really restores my hopes in Halo. It restores my faith in 343. They did a great job, honestly. Like I'm super impressed with it, and I think it's pretty awesome that they're listening to the criticism of the community. Um, and oh, one more thing I wanted to add. A rep from 343 came up the head of the studio, and he said that Infinite will be larger than Halo 4 and 5 combined. Which is kind of exactly what everyone wanted. Everyone wanted these big open landscapes, these big battles. And I think that they're really listening to people and they're going to bring that back. So that's great to see. Again, I'm a longtime Halo fan. So to say that I'm pumped for this, it means something, you know? So they're going to be releasing more stuff in the coming months, like multiplayer and things like that. Right now, the release date is slated for Halo <laughs> for holiday 2020. So I'm excited to see how this all plays out. I am definitely going to buy this game. I mean, I was going to buy it regardless. I buy all Halo games. Um, this was going to be the last straw for me, though. But I think they they listened. And I'm excited to see what they have in store. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.